Hey what's up guys Tanmay here back with another video tutorial on database operations and this is the part 4 of this tutorial series and in this tutorial we are going to be performing the update operation in PHP and MySQL database. So in the part 1 we actually designed the web page and the form and we also created the database. In part 2 we performed the insert operation so we inserted values from the PHP web page into the MySQL database. In the part 3 we performed the select operation so we passed on the product ID and got all the other details like product name name, cost, quantity and we printed it into our text boxes and now in this part 4 what we are going to do is we are going to enter a product id, retrieve its data from performing the select operation and we will get all the values in the text boxes and we will change a particular value and then we will perform the update operation. So let me just show you what all we did up until now. So this is the basic form or the web page that is index.php that we've created. This is the database that we have created that is sample PHP DB and inside that we have a table named products info table. Now currently it has two entries. So if you want to insert a new record, you can say product ID 3, I'll say football, I'll say brand is Puma, I'll say cost is 5. 1000 and there are 5 footballs. So if I click on insert, the values would be inserted in the database. It will give me a pop up saying values inserted successfully. And then if I refresh my database, I can see one more entry. So this was done in the insert operation or the part 2. And in part 3, we did the select operation. So the product ID is 3. And if I click on go, I get all these values. Now in this tutorial what we will do is we will change the product brand to Nike and when we click on update the value in the database that brand would be changed to Nike corresponding to this product ID that is the product ID that we have entered in this text box. So let's add functionality to this update button. So in terms of coding if you have been following me up until now this is how your index.php page would be looking like. So this is the form over here then we have the PHP code for insert button. So this entire if is set construct is handling that. Now after if we will say else if and let me just copy this code. Now this is set function is a predefined function which is used to check if a particular HTML element on the web page is set or not. That is basically it is it has certain value or not. So we check that for the insert button. Now we have to check it for the update button. So we've given it a name of update underscore btn. So to access that in the PHP code, we just have to change this to update underscore btn. And this dollar underscore post is a super global variable in PHP, which is predefined and it is used to access the data which is posted onto the server. So when the update button is clicked, what we'll do is in order to check when if it is clicked and it is working properly we will just say update clicked save this refresh the page and click on update so there you go we got the pop-up update clicked so it is working fine so in order to update we will first need the product id and the updated details so we will need the user to enter all these values again to update the record in the database so we will first have to take all the these five values inside our php variable so let me just do that first so the first thing i'll do is i'll check if all the values that is the product ID, product name, product brand and cost in all these text boxes is not blank. So we'll have to check if they are blank or not. And if they are blank, we'll say alert enter data in all fields. And if they are not blank, then we can go ahead and take all those values inside our variables. So these are the four, five different variables. That is PID, P name and the value comes from the dollar underscore post global variable and inside the square brackets we'll pass the name of the text text box. So this is the name attribute that we've given to each of these text boxes. Name is P name for this input type text. Then for the next input type we've given the name of P name, then P brand and so on. So to access those values inside the text boxes, we use the dollar underscore post global variable and we'll store it inside our PHP variables. So now the next thing we have to do is we have to fire a query which is the update query and here's the syntax for the update query. So as you can see I'll say update products info table. I'll say set p name is equal to the new p name that we've entered. p brand is equal to the new p brand that we've entered and both of these are in single quotes because they are string variables separated by comma and this is the basic uh, update query that you fire in your SQL language then p cost is equal to dollar underscore p cost without the single quotes because it is a number and same for the quantity and then next is the where clause where pid is equal to the pid that we've entered in the first text box so the product id text box so remember that product id is not going to be changed because it is going to be primary key so we are going to use the product id to change other four values so now we have to fire this query or run this query actually and execute it using the mysqli underscore query function. So I'll say query underscore run and 
mysqli underscore query which takes two variables the connection variable and the query itself and to check if it is executed successfully I'll see if query underscore run and if it doesn't execute I'll say else I can show an error now if it updated successfully so we just have to show a pop-up that the update operation has, has been carried out successfully so I'll say product updated successfully I'll just save this and let's see if this works let me just refresh the page so I'll say product ID 1 so we got all the details from the database so the product name was product 1 I'll change this to basketball and I'll hit update so as you can see we got the pop-up saying product updated successfully so let's see if the name was changed for product ID 1 so I'll just refresh this page or click browse and there you go the product name is being changed by the update query so if I click update right now with blank values it is going to give me an error saying enter data in all fields that is because we've not mentioned the product name brand cost or quantity so first we need to enter all the values and if you want you can change all the four values as well so I can change the product name ABC I'll put ABC product brand XYZ cost is 2500 quantity is 4500 and if I click update all the values would be changed with the product ID 1 so currently the product ID 1 has basketball Nike cost 5000 and quantity 10 if I refresh this all those values have been changed because the product ID was constant and it fired an update query which changed all these values so that is exactly what our query is doing over here so it's changing all those values except the product ID because the product ID is used as a primary key so that's it for this update operation so up until now if you followed these tutorial series we've performed the basic designing of the web page using basic HTML and CSS we also created the MySQL database then in the part 2 we perform the insert operation in part 3 we perform select and now in part 4 we perform the update operation so if you have missed any of these parts I have already put the entire project onto my drive and shared the link in the description of this video so you can quickly go ahead and download it and that's it for this video guys so if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace